Greetings everybody, Nick DiVirgilio here and today's video is on the Roland TD50KV2. Let's go. Let me first tell you what you get out of the box when you get the Roland TD50KV2. 10 inch rack tom pads, 12 inch floor tom pads, a full size 14 inch digital snare. I'll get into what the digital means here in just a second. You get two of Roland's new CY16T crash symbols. And the T stands for thin, they're about 40% thinner than their old version, which is really cool because it feels good in your hands. When you crash the symbol, you're not going to get any vibration up your arms or in your wrist. You can actually see the cymbal bends a little bit, so it feels a little bit more like a regular acoustic cymbal. A big 18-inch digital ride cymbal and the brand new VH14D digital hi-hat, which is really cool. It acts like a regular hi-hat. It's a two-piece system, and the digital feature with all of these pads, the ride, snare, and hi-hat, just make these electronic drums act a little bit more like acoustic drums. Let me show you how. When you play an acoustic snare drum, if you want to get a side stick sound, you put your hand on the drum and hit the rim. But in the old days of electronic drums, there was only so many sensors that could put in the pads. So if you wanted a side stick sound, you would have to put that on the rim and sort of play it like this. But now since there's a lot more sensors in these drums, they act more like acoustic drums. So when you hit the rim, it's going to sound like the rim of the acoustic drum. The snare is like the snare when you hit the pad. And then when you put your hand, this is where the digital part comes in, when you put your hand on the pad, it grounds out the drum and turns the rim sound that's on the rim into the side stick sound. Rim sound. So it acts just like an acoustic drum, which is super cool. Now the digital part of the ride cymbal gives you a lot of sensors around the cymbal to act more like a regular cymbal because you get lots of body and depth in the sound. You get the edge, the meat of the cymbal, the body of it right here. And it's really sensitive. You can hear the soft strokes and the loud strokes, and of course, a great bell sound. And I'll show you with a couple of the presets in the TD50X here in just a minute how you get three totally separate sounds on one cymbal. Now, those same digital properties make it so the hi-hat cymbals act like acoustic hi-hats. When I hit the pad, the cymbal will ring. And if I put my hand on top of the hi-hat pad here, the sound will just dissipate. Check it out. That's the exact same thing that would happen if you hit an acoustic cymbal and you put your hand on it, it would dissipate the sound. So now you can play electronic hi-hats more like acoustic hi-hats. Sort of mute stem if you want to do like a jazz pattern like that. Nice decay in the samples. Just a super cool, really high end piece of electronic gear right there. All of the pads have Roland's high end mesh drum heads. Now, the snare drum, the digital pad, has a three layer mesh head, and the toms have a two layer mesh head. Just feels really good when you play them. You can tune them up high to get lots of rebound. You can tune them down low to have more of a gushy or softer feel. Wherever you want to take the feel of these drums, you can easily with these pads. And last but not least is this kick drum, an 18 inch wood shell. It's a birch wood shell kick drum. A very nice feeling pad that's small, but definitely big enough for a double pedal. I have my Pearl Eliminator pedal right here, and both beaters are hitting right in a nice even spot on the pad. You can bury the beater into this pad. It feels sort of like an acoustic drum where you loosen the head and you bury the beater in there when you want to get a nice bunch of attack. It feels good. But if you're the kind of player where you like to have the beater come back off the head when you hit it, you can easily do that with this kick drum pad as well. I mentioned earlier about this great four poster rack. It's very sturdy and all of the cables go through the post so you get a nice clean look when you set up this kit on any stage or in the studio. 
Also, it's worth mentioning that the hardware, the symbol holders, have a nice ball joint up here. So you can place the pad wherever you want. It's very easily adjustable. Same goes for the tongue holders. Nice ball joint in there. Move the pad wherever you want, and it holds the drum sturdy and never moves. Now, when you look at pictures of this kit on Sweetwater's site, you might see it set up in a couple of different ways, but I think that's really cool because you can adjust this kit however you want to. You might see the tom pads mounted inside the tubes right here instead of the cymbals. You could totally do that and put the cymbals on the rack. Adjust it however you want. You could totally customize the kit feel to you. The only pieces of hardware you don't get in the box are your kick drum pedal, your snare drum stand, and your hi-hat stand. All right, now with all that being said, the best part about this kit the way it sounds. So many great sounds. There's over 900 sounds in the TD50X. Let me take you through some of the highlights right now. Here we go.
hopefully you can tell by just that small example of sounds how cool and how great sounding the TD50X module is. Like I mentioned, over 900 internal sounds and everything you can think of. Rock sounds, funk sounds, gospel sounds, blues sounds, of course electronic sounds and percussion sounds. And you could manipulate these sounds in real time really fast. Now if you saw me playing, there's a fader over here called Ambience. This is one of the cool new highlights in the TD50X. They spent a lot of time sampling not just the great drum sounds, but also the rooms that they were in when they sampled these sounds. So what you can do while you're playing is adjust the amount of room ambience you have in that kit. So check this out. The ambience fader is all the way down to zero, and I picked the kit called Skylight. It's number seven here in the presets. It's a nice dry sound. Here we go. You can hear the drum shell ringing, right? But you don't hear any kind of reverb or ambience or room sound. I'll turn the fader all the way up. So I added a little bit of high end, and you can definitely hear some of that, that sound, the sound of the room. Now, every kit's gonna have more or less, depending on what you want. And you can also adjust the amount of ambience very easily. I'll show you in just a second. Let me quickly take you through a couple other kits to give you a demonstration of the ambience. All right, I picked a kit called Hard Rock. Let's get our rock on here. Here's the snare by itself, no ambience. Ambience all the way up. I mean, it widens out the sound. I have these great Roland PM100 speakers pointing at me. You could do this on headphones as well. You could really hear the room sort of open up. All of a sudden, you're in a big stereo space. You hear the room ambience all the way around you. It's a really nice feature. Let's try one more. This one's called Loud Rock. To me, it sounds like it has a little bit of a gated reverb effect on it because there's a ton of effects inside the TD50X as well. But let's put the ambience.